We're about to get into chapter 13, which is going to be arrays of cards. But before we do that, I made a couple of changes to the card class. Here's the original rank and uh, suits. I wanted to have a print that was much shorter. And also I wanted each card to be print out with two characters or a string of length two. So I made a suits using just letters. So it's just the first letter of each suit. The ranks, I made a rank letters, which is instead of spelling out ace, I just use the letter A. Uh, notice you should never be using index zero here. It was originally null. I just changed it so it would print out error because you shouldn't ever see that. And then for 10, I used a T because you can't represent 10 with a single digit. Well, if using hexadecimal, it would be A, but we've already used A and it's gonna make you think of ace, so I use T for 10, of course, J, Q, K for Jack, Queen, King. So I made that change. Compare two, I wrote two compare twos. Here's the suit first, which is the one that's in the videos, and it compares, looks at the suit first, which is great for a game like spades or hearts where the suit is super important. And then if the suit is tied, it compares on rank. Most games I like to play, the rank is more important. So this compares rank first, and then if the ranks are equal, then it goes to suits. And of course I call it a compare to rank first, and the other one's compare to suit first. So that I'm following along with the book, uh, I wrote my compare to to use the compare to suit first so that it functions the same. Uh, my two string, I wanted my two string to print out two letters for each card. So I'm using my rank letters and suit letters and I'm just concatenating. I'm not putting extra space or any comma or word in between them. If I need to switch back, I can easily just go and use the original and it should work just fine. So these are the modifications I made to card.